Hey guys again, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing a horror story with you guys. It's basically my lip horror story. Now, I've never really spoken about this to anyone. I guess I was very ashamed and embarrassed. So that's why I never spoke out about this. I don't want to expose any businesses, although I really want to, but I just don't want to end up in a lawsuit. Um, so, I'm just going to tell you guys a story and hopefully all the young ones who are looking to get their lips done can learn from this video. I'm just going to give it to you guys real and raw, so let's get started. This all happened on March 2017. A solid couple of years ago, I decided to get my lips done and I get Botox done at this place. But that time I was like, oh, do you guys do lip fillers? And the lady at the reception is like, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely he does. So I was like, no worries. I'll get my lips done while I'm here anyway. So I never got lip filler at this place, only Botox. And with the Botox, he was absolutely amazing. But because I was already there, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll give this guy a try. And look, I live in Australia and I thought, doesn't matter where you go. Everyone is legit. Me being me, I just assumed that he would be absolutely amazing. I didn't look at his work. I didn't follow him on Instagram. I just found him on Google. <laughs> so this is me not educating myself, going to a place and giving them my money and my trust. Basically, he did my lips and immediately he started to freak out and I started panicking you can just imagine this guy's holding a needle and he's panicking and you can just feel the vibe and he's holding my lips down like he's holding it down like it's bruising it's bruising and he's like pushing it down and i was like oh my god and like he was pushing on my lip really hard and it was hurting and i was like what the fuck like literally i was like what is going on i wanted to see i wanted to see what's going on and but then he kept going and he was adding more on the other side, I guess, to sort of even it out. But because it was swollen, oh, it was just terrible. I'm just going to pop a photo up. By the time I got home, this is what my lips looked like. <laughs> oh, my God. I was mortified. Like, you can see the bruising and you can see how on one side it's a lot bigger than the other but the other side's huge as well because he kept adding more to that side after that side went swollen and anyways you know he reassured me he's like look just put ice on it the swelling should go down and i was driving home like i wanted to cry because i kept looking at myself in the mirror and i was like whoa I was shocked. I was like, I cannot believe he let me walk out of here looking like this. I didn't go to work. I was like, I cannot be seen with this. This is disgusting. I got a botched job done. So the next day I rang them up and I said, look, I want them dissolved. I didn't know you could get your lip fillers dissolved, but I did my research and I said, look, I don't want my money back. Like, I'm not doing this to have my money back. I just want my lips back to normal. Can you please dissolve my lip fillers? So the lady, she was like, oh my God, like, send me photo. Like, she was really nice. The receptionist was really nice. She was like, send me photos. Oh my God, no, no, no. We need to make sure you're happy. It's not about the money. She's like, come back in. I'll make you an appointment. Um, so yeah, so then a couple of days later... It was still so swollen. Like, I'm going to try and find another photo. This was a couple of days later. The swelling actually got worse. Um, oh, I can't even look at that. I'm like cringing. Um, I was... It, the photo looks really dark because I had that Snapchat filter on. You know, that blue filter. That's why it looks even darker than what it was. But it wasn't that dark. Um... But I just, yeah, so she made me an appointment and then she was like, come in. So I was so nervous to go back to this guy. Like I was like, I'm going to go somewhere else to get it dissolved. And I called up this other place and she's like, look, we don't dissolve other people's work. We only dissolve our own work. 
and I called this other place and they said the same thing and I'm like fuck I'm gonna have to go back to him so I'm like you know what Ozzy you're gonna have to do it just go in dissolve all of my lips and I'm gonna go somewhere else so I went there but this time I brought my sister because I was like I'm so nervous I just want someone to be there to witness like what goes down like I need moral support so she came with me and he dissolved that side he's like oh yeah it's really swollen still yet we'll dissolve it and honestly dissolving your lips is the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life it freaking hurts I didn't even talk to him like I was just like yep just get it out so he got it out and he goes, look, it's still swollen, but as time goes, it will go down more and more. I don't want to dissolve it too much because you're going to be left with no lips. And I was like, naturally, I have full lips. Like, I don't have little paper thin lips. But I was scared that my lips would shrivel up like prunes. So that's why I was like, look, I took his word for it. And I was like, yep, just do what you got to do. And then when I walked out with my sister... She's like, oh my God, he was not professional whatsoever. He made me nervous. So then I sort of realized, okay, it's not just me. Like I have someone saying the same thing and who thinks the same thing. And honestly, I felt like he wasn't qualified. I felt like he was really dodgy. And that was the last time I stepped foot in their clinic. So yeah, it went down to this. So like, look at the color of my lips. The products he used discolored my lips. I don't know what happened there, but it like emphasized the darker pigment on my lip. And then, I don't know, but look how uneven. Like, look at that left side. There's a full, oh, it looks so bad. Anyways, so I was doing my research. I was typing in best lip filler lady best lip filler place sydney i was looking up instagram photos before and afters and i came across dr naomi's page and she's from the men's clinic and honestly she fixed my lips in just one treatment my lips went from looking like shit like i was embarrassed and mind you at the time i was doing makeup i was a makeup artist and there's only so much that makeup can hide and my attention to detail when it comes to facial features is very strong so you can imagine how much of this bothered me i lost sleep i lost appetite i couldn't eat i was so uneasy i spoke to dr naomi's team and i wanted to make an appointment with her and back then she was taking clients thank goodness like i just made the cutoff and i explained my story to them and i told them look this is what's happened they're like look i can't make an appointment for you till at least a month after you had your lip filler dissolved so i walked around like that for a month prior to getting her to fix it and i totally get that i mean there's a lot of swelling there'll be still other chemicals in there and what i did was in that month's time i just kept massaging my lips i kept drinking water i was just i was really looking after them and i, w I really wanted to get that product out as much as possible so that she can work with something and i finally sat on dr naomi's chair I told her about what happened and honestly I just felt this connection with her and her work is amazing like I seen so many before and afters and I was like wow so after the first treatment my lips went from this to this so see how it just looks more fuller. Um, my lip color went back to normal. It's not that really dark pigment. And I was like, oh my God, this was just after one treatment with Dr. Naomi. I was so happy. Like when I was driving home, I was pretty much crying of joy. I was like, she fixed my lips. Like I even messaged her saying, thank you so much. Like I couldn't believe it. I didn't think we could improve from what had happened. And honestly, it was the biggest lesson for me do your research it is so important read reviews i don't know what i was thinking i went back to that google website where i found that other guy and i looked at the reviews the majority of the reviews are really bad 
And I was like, what was I thinking? I didn't even do my research. Like, what is wrong with me? So, yeah, the whole purpose of me doing this video is to share my experience with you guys. Um, help anyone who is currently going through this. And just really inform the younger generation that you really need to do your research. Find out what they're injecting in you. Ask questions. Like, don't be silent. You have every right to know what goes into your body. If you want to get your lips done, do not do it before a special occasion. Give it at least two months. That way you have time. Um, if you've never had your lips done before, go in slow. Don't go in with a full meal, you know? Like, gradually build it up to what you like. Um, sometimes people get their lips done and they're like, Oh my god, it's so swollen and then after a week it's gone down and they're like, oh no, I want to go back for more. Don't, like, just give it a break, see how you go and then slowly, gradually build it up to what you like. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any feedback for anyone, if you had a really bad experience, I would love to hear about it. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below or if you want to DM me on Instagram and... Ask me if you want to keep it on the down low. You're more than welcome to do that. I love helping people, especially when it comes to this topic, because I just feel like I went through so much. That is it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.